The Puget Sound model was designed and built in 1950 at the University of Washington School of Oceanography, where it still resides. Professor Clifford Barnes designed it, and engineer John Lincoln oversaw the construction. They built wood forms to make a mirror image of the bottom topography of the sound, and then they poured concrete around the mold to create the model we see today. Horizontally, the model is scaled down about 40,000 times, so that one inch in the model equals about one kilometer, or two-thirds of a mile, in the real world. But depth in the model is exaggerated almost 35 times compared to the horizontal dimensions. This is to reduce friction with the bottom so water can move more freely. The tides in the model are generated by a plunger. It pushes down to raise the tide and drive the flood current. Then it lifts back up to lower the tide level and create the ebb current. A cable connected to an electric motor raises and lowers the plunger. Tidal patterns in Puget Sound vary from one day to the next. The extent and timing of the plunger motions in the model must change to reproduce these real variations in the tides. When the model was first built, the plunger motions were controlled by a series of gears and pulleys. The different sizes and rotation rates of the pulleys, as they guided the cable, simulated the changing effects of the sun's and moon's gravity on the waters of the sound. Today, a computer both calculates the tides and controls the motions of the cable and plunger. An ultrasonic sensor bounces high-frequency sound off the water's surface to measure the minute changes in tidal height in the model. The sensor sends a signal to the computer, which displays both the tide calculations and the resulting model tides together on the monitor. To be more useful, the model speeds up time. Three seconds in the model equals one hour in real time. 76 seconds in the model equals one 24-hour and 50-minute tidal day. This tub of salt water is our model ocean. A pump delivers the salt water along the bottom of the model at the mouth of the sound. To make the rivers, tap water flows into a series of glass pipes with valves to control the amount of flow in each simulated river. Plastic tubes carry the water to each river mouth, and from there the water flows onto the surface of the model sound. Altogether, the computer-regulated tide plunger and the fresh and salt water supplies enable the model to reproduce very accurately the classic two-layered estuarine circulation pattern in the real Puget Sound.